today I'm gonna introduce you to Divi. Uh, this is a team that is created for WordPress by Elegant Teams. The reason uh, I'm showing you Divi is because uh, it is one of the most user-friendly themes I've found for people who want to create websites but don't know how to code. And uh, this could be one of the most uh, useful themes for people who want to design websites on a regular basis since it makes everything fast and easy and uh, I'm going to show you how to actually uh, how it actually works this is uh, basically one of the layouts uh, and the way layouts are done in Divi and you can see all these uh, different modules and different uh, setups the way these rows are set up and all these columns uh, you can set up rows in different column variations and also set them up in different sections um, you can have different sections with sidebars two sidebars a big sidebar you know different variations uh, which you would normally have to code into the website or even into WordPress. Um, yeah, the DB team also comes with a set of libraries, um, a set of uh, teams, uh, templates in its library that you can use to set up a home page or a website pretty quickly. Uh, I've already uh, laid out the creative agency uh, template over here and you can see that it's set up pretty nicely the other thing that these guys uh, put into this team is the visual builder what the visual builder does is uh, it allows the website developer to basically be able to drag and drop parts of the website and design the website using a drag and drop method that you would usually find in uh, website builder sites like uh, Wix or Weebly. Uh, this functionality is something that people have been asking for in WordPress and is uh, pretty useful um, for designing the front end in certain ways it's also useful to test different texts and to see how your text will fit into certain places or different backgrounds basic visual um, parts of your website so um, this is basically just showing you uh, different aspects of what you can do with Divi um, the, there is also a very nice team customizer panel that allows you to basically customize your navigation, change the colors um, uh, for your navigation if you want to. Uh, you can all do all these things uh, uh, real time. You can see all the changes happening in front of you so you can decide if you like uh, certain change or not you can have transparency there's there's a lot of options that Divi has that make things easier for uh, people like me that design websites for a living and uh, it even makes it easier for my clients when I give them the websites they're easy to uh, it, it they find it easy to edit the website and uh, make changes to it where necessary and if they need something big done they usually just come to me and I do that for them so anyway um, this was just a brief introduction to Divi what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna set up a child team for Divi so we can start working on a design and set up a website for you uh, just to show you guys um, how it works and uh, get you comfortable with it the first step you need to take uh, when you are setting up a child team 
and the importance of setting up a child theme for a WordPress website is basically that teams usually get updates uh, regularly in WordPress and uh, well if you are a serious person who owns a website and you want it to stand out you've probably made customizations to it now the only way you can keep your customizations and still perform upgrades to your teams in WordPress is by creating child teams that save your customizations and allow the original team to be updated as well so that the need to create a child team is pretty important you don't want to lose all those customizations you spend hours on uh, once you update a team or even WordPress and uh, it also makes it easier for you to make minor changes into files that are associated with WordPress but this is something advanced and I'm not sure you guys will be using it too much but as time progresses I'm gonna start making more videos uh, that will explain how to make changes to your child team as well so I would suggest learning how to do it okay all right so to set up a child team first we need to add a new folder um, into the teams folder for WordPress but um, let's just use a code editor right now to create the style.css that we need to identify a child theme in WordPress to do that we need to first off um, start the style.css and identify the name of the template uh, that we are using the original template and the name of the team that we want to create which is the child team for Divi you don't need a lot of information right now in here what we are basically doing is uh, saving this file in the amps directory where our domain is located uh, you'll find it in the www directory and in the directory of your domain once you're in the domain directory you'll see all these WordPress files uh, you need to go into the WP content directory and then go into the themes directory once you're in here you need to create a new folder uh, you can do that simply by clicking the new folder option and typing in whatever you need want to name the directory save this file as style.css and what I need you to do now is create another file called functions.php what we're gonna do in functions.php is basically we're gonna copy and paste a little code uh, what this code does is basically allow the original style.css file to be read um, by WordPress this is basic functionality um, that will allow you to create uh, your own style.css and have the original style.css loading at the same time save it as functions.php and once you're done with this you can minimize your code editor and refresh the teams page you'll see a child team for Divi already in there you can activate it and visit your website so you can see everything is working fine that means the child team got installed properly now I'm gonna show you how to basically 
set up your homepage to be something other than the posts page. Uh, I'm going to delete this uh, page I created to show you how those layouts work and add a new page called the home page and uh, just publish it we're gonna use the Divi Builder and uh, I'm gonna add in a full width section and I'm gonna copy it on top I'm gonna drag it on top of it and what I'm gonna add in here is a full width slider add a new slider with a solid background color Let's say dark blue and text heading uh, this is the slider text heading and contact us for now this is just gonna be a dummy link Alright, now you can choose the text scheme over here. I'm gonna go with light, but you could also go with dark depending on your background color. Alright, now we're gonna save this and save it. So we have our slider module set up right now with one slide in it. And I'm gonna update this. and then go into the TV team customizer if you scroll down a bit you see the static front page option click on a static page and then choose your front page to be home page save and publish you can already see that the slider is showing up and uh, if you go to example.dev or whatever domain you have set up, you can now see the front page is set up as the home page and whatever you're going to add into the home page is going to show up uh, on the front page. So we have, we have already started setting up our front page now. Alright, so what I'm going to do is uh, take a break now and uh, if you have any questions or you know if you get stuck anywhere just leave me a comment on either YouTube or on my website um, if you want to download the child team it's pretty basic but if you do I will leave a link uh, for you to download it and uh, you can purchase Divi from elegant themes if you feel it's worth buying for you um, don't worry about having to buy it if you don't want to I mean I will be doing more video tutorials uh, using other themes in the future and uh, some of those could be free themes the only benefit I could think that comes with Divi is the amount of time you could save if you do purchase it I mean the website building is pretty fast when it comes to TV. All right. Anyway, um, I'm gonna continue this next week, and uh, I'll see you guys then. All right.